Dear colleagues, this is a non-intumescent hard cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision. It is a 2.8 millimeter incision. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 claw covers away. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about the same distance away. This is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. Here goes the dye. The dye should be injected over all parts of the capsule. The idea of air bubble is to protect the corneal endothelium. Now the dye is washed out. And now viscoelastic substance 2% ASPMC is injected and chamber is filled up with this viscoelastic substance. Now capsular axis is to be done. Since this is a non intumescent cataract, there is no leakage of any oily fluid after the incision of the anterior capsule. So a large rexis is being done at on go. Large rexis because the cataract is hard. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 4. Little bit of hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is mobilized. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The tip is introduced, bevel down. Superficial cortical matter is removed. And now you can see the hardness of the cataract. It's a brown nucleus. So I am trying direct chop. The tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus. It travels through the nucleus like a submarine. And lot of cavitation bubble has formed. So I come back to Anti chamber and remove the air bubbles. Rotate the nucleus 180 degree and divide it into two heminucleus. Now this heminucleus is being chopped again into three fragments. This is one chop and this is the second chop and the nucleus has been divided into three fragments. Each fragment is then emulsified and removed. That's it. One heminucleus is removed. This is the other heminucleus. This heminucleus is again chopped into three parts. This is first chop. This is the second chop and the nucleus divides into three fragments. Each fragment is then emulsified by ultrasonic energy and removed. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent. This is the last fragment. At this time the tip is not totally occluded. It is partially occluded so that surge doesn't occur. That's it.
the nucleus is managed, epinucleus also has come off. And now, HPMC is injected again. A 23 gauge Simco cannula is now used for cortical cleanup. Cortex from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock can be removed through the main incision. Since there was viscoelastic substance, the AC doesn't tend to collapse. Now I'm going through the left side port and removing the cortex from 8 to 10. Now the cortex from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock is removed going through the side port at 8 o'clock. Now, a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted under irrigation. Hydrophobic single piece lenses can also be implanted under irrigation. See the stress marks on the lens. This is a thick lens from Spectra. These stress marks go off after some time. A bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side boards are hydrated so that these wounds close and become waterproof. Final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with BSS. and the case is concluded after forming the anterior chamber. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.